33 years ago, big blizzard rolling through the Baltimore, Washington area. The sixth all time on the Baltimore list for snowfall. But interestingly enough for our area, it all came down in a 24 hour time period. So pretty good snowfall there, almost 23 inches at what at the time was just BWI, now BWI Marshall Airport. Dulles Airport picked up the same exact amount. Thought that might have been a typo, but no, they had exactly the same amount there. And Reagan National at 16.6 uh, inches of snow from the blizzard of 1983, sixth greatest snowfall on record for Baltimore. Not much snow around other than a few flurries today, but the cold is certainly settling in. 19 for the morning low, but then it really didn't uh, climb very much at all after that 19 degree morning. We only made it to 28 degrees in the afternoon on a day when the normal high is at 44 degrees. So we're pacing way below normal and we'll stay way below these normals right through the upcoming weekend. Also note the record low six that was in that brutally cold Arctic outbreak of February 1899. Winds have been brisk out of the Northwest. This has really kind of been the big story today because it's cold, but then you factor in these kind of winds gusting 25, 30 miles an hour for a good part of the day. And it makes temperatures that are in the low 20s in some spots and even single digits out West feel a whole bunch colder on your skin. Single digit wind chills already this evening up to the North and West, well below zero out in the mountains. The good news for tonight these winds will be diminishing as a little area of high pressure settles over the region. And although there are still a couple of flurries on HD Doppler, we think the skies will clear. The winds will become nearly calm and that sets up another cold night. Not the wind chill, just the actual air temperature. 10 suburbs, 17 downtown. West winds that are still up to around 20 miles an hour now will come down to around 5 miles an hour or less by late tonight. Now, over the upcoming weekend, another surge of cold air comes swinging through here. So high pressure passes through, then the clipper drags even colder air in. And that Arctic connection is going to continue and temperatures up there are way, way below zero. So plenty of cold air to pour south. With the cold, there may be some more snow showers, especially with the leading edge of the front coming out of the mountains into Baltimore Friday night. A chance for some snow showers and a big storm is sitting off coast. We're just barely missing another one with a lot of rain and snow out over the Atlantic. That one stays away, but the Arctic front comes through. So a period of light snow or snow showers Friday night into early Saturday morning might coat the ground with an inch to a half an inch of snow or so, and that'll lead the charge with the cold. And Sunday should be a sunny day, but very cold temperatures expected around here for the weekend. 26 to 31 tomorrow, winds out of the south as the Arctic front is approaching. Evening snow showers develop as the front moves on through. Check out the temperatures of the mountains. If you have plans to be in the uh, Western Maryland mountains this weekend, you better bundle up. The high on Saturday, only three. Saturday night, Sunday morning, they'll go to five to 10 degrees below zero out in Western Maryland and then start to climb out of it late in the weekend. On the eastern shore tomorrow, about 32 degrees, sun and clouds mixed and maybe a flurry in the evening, then much colder on Saturday with a high of just 21. Temperature steady or slowly falling on Saturday. 30 at the beach tomorrow, 21 on Saturday and very cold at Ocean City Saturday night, Sunday. Chance for an evening snow shower tomorrow on Saturday, possibly even a few flurries or snow showers around windy and cold 23 and falling to near 10 by the evening on Sunday, a morning low around four an afternoon high of just 19 Monday morning is still cold with a high of 11 and then the next storm moves in with a chance for snow, possibly mixing with sleet or rain going into Tuesday.